Hey traders, welcome back to the channel. Today you are in for a treat because I have an ultimate guide to using Fibonacci for you. Okay, so as you can see over here, I have everything listed out about Fibonacci and I'm going to walk you through each of uh, these tools, how to use the Fibonacci retracement as well as the Fibonacci extension tool. Now, if you stay to the end, I will also show you how do you use both retracement and extension at the same time. How do you integrate the two to find high probability trade setups? Okay, so let's start by talking about Fibonacci retracement. So what is Fibonacci retracement? Okay, you can see over here that I have drawn the Fibonacci retracement tool. Okay, it's very simple. As the name suggests, it is a retracement tool. Okay, that means you are trying to use the Fibonacci retracement tool to predict uh, where price will retrace to. Okay, so all you need to do is you just need to take the tool. Okay, uh, the platform I'm using right now is called TradingView. It's a free platform. So uh, feel free to check it out. Okay, so what you want to do is you just want to click over here. Okay, and you go under the uh, fit retracement and you just draw uh, low to high. Okay, so you should get something like this. Okay, so what this means is that uh, if this is, you know, this is this level and this is the swing high, this is a swing low and swing high, 0 0.618 means that price has uh, retraced 0 0.618 of the entire move. Okay, so think of it like a like something that maybe you buy at a supermarket. Okay, uh, normally, you know, the price is $10 and uh, today is having a 61.8% discount. Right, so if it's sixty one point eight discount, that would mean that uh it's selling for three twenty now, correct? Because if something used to be selling at ten dollars and you have a sixty one point eight percent discount, then uh what's left is actually three twenty. Okay, that's how you uh, use the Fibonacci retracement. That's how you read the Fibonacci retracement. Okay, so what you want to do is that you want to apply a uh, Fibonacci retracements onto the swing high and swing low. So let me just do a demonstration for you here. Okay, something like this. Okay, so you, as you can see over here, uh, price respected the 0 0.618 and after it broke out, it, it retested it yet again. Okay, so this is how you use the tool. Okay, but this is not a full-blown strategy. So uh, as I said, if you stay to the end, I will show you how to use both Fibonacci retracement as well as Fibonacci extension. Okay, but that's the essence of how do you use a Fibonacci retracement. Okay, you connect it from the swing high or to swing low or the opposite, okay, depending on whether you're trying to buy or trying to sell. Okay, and uh, you watch for reaction at uh, each of the retracement level. Okay, in this case, I'm just focusing on the 0 0.618 level and the 0 0.786 level. Okay, because personally, I find that these two levels are the strongest level uh, that I prefer. Okay. There are many other Fibonacci levels such as uh, 0 0.5 and 0 0.236 but personally, I prefer to buy when uh, there is a deeper retracement like 0 0.618, okay? Uh, as I said earlier on in the you know, example, if something is trading at $10 and I can get it at $320 versus getting it at $5, which is a 50% retracement, ideally, I want to get it as low as possible, okay? So this will help me maximize my profit uh, when price resumes its trend. Okay, so that's for Fibonacci retracement. Let's go on to Fibonacci extension. Okay, this is the tool over here that you're looking at. Uh, it's the same thing, okay, uh, except that um, Fibonacci extension is typically used to uh, project take profit levels. Okay, what do I mean by that? Uh, that means you're entering a trade and you want to know when to get out, uh, when to lock in your profits or when to shift your stop loss to break even. Okay, this is a tool you're going to use. Okay, of course, there are some traders who use this as a counter trend trade. So what they do is that uh, when price is going up, they sell it down. Okay, but uh, as I mentioned earlier on, I'm going to show you how to integrate the two. Okay, how to integrate both Fibonacci retracement and Fibonacci extension so that you find the best probability setups. Okay, so how do you draw these two? It's the same thing. Okay, just click over here and you can see uh, something called trend based uh, fit extension okay click on it and uh, you'll be given this tool so what you want to do is uh, you want to connect this to the swing low connect to the swing high and uh, back to the low okay uh, let me just repeat it one more time in case uh, you did not catch that okay you go over here click on the trend based fit extension tool assuming that you are trying to project a uh, you know you are trying to buy 
and you're trying to lock in your profits, your buy trade. So you start from the low, okay? You move up to the high, back to the low, okay? And then you will get your two targets, which is the uh, 1.272 level as well as the uh, 1.618 level, okay? If you are bearish and you're trying to, you know, uh, secure, you, you took a um, selling a trade where you sell the currency, you sell the currency pair, okay? You sold the currency pair. What you want to do is you want to do the opposite. You start from the high, you connect to the low, and then you bring it back to the high, okay? If you want to get it as accurate as possible, uh, what I recommend is uh, you just take the, uh, this one, the value here, and uh, this value here. Just a moment. Yes, okay? What you're doing, if you do this value equals to this value, you are essentially making this point the same as this point, okay? This is for maximum accuracy. If you want to be very accurate in your projections, then uh, I suggest you just double click. Use your mouse to double click this. Um, take this, copy, and paste into here, okay? This value here is actually this over here, this pointer here, okay? So that's how you use it, okay? That's uh, Fibonacci extension for you, okay? So as I said, Fibonacci extension is for more for taking profit. So you have a trade and you want to take profit. Uh, you want to know where to take profit, okay? So now let me show you how do you combine both, okay? First, I want to show you how to set it up so that uh, you do not need to draw both tools, okay? Because uh, sometimes it's get a bit confusing. I want to show you how you set it up so that you just need uh, one tool. You just draw the one retracement, one Fibonacci retracement, and you can see the Fibonacci retracement and the Fibonacci extension. Okay, that's what I want to show you first. After I show you that, then I'll show you how you combine both to find uh, high probability turning points in the market. Okay, so as you can see over here, this is the Fibonacci uh, retracement tool. It's the same as this, okay, except that uh, I have put in additional levels. Okay, let me show you. Okay, I've put in the 1.272 level, the 1.618 and the minus 0.272 and the minus 0.618. Okay, so it should look something like this. Now, you might ask me, why am I doing this? Why do I put it in? Okay, very simple. Because if you can see, uh, this Fibonacci retracement tool now, is it has the same level as uh, this over here. Okay, uh, of course, I did not draw it perfectly. Okay, but this these two levels are the same. Okay, so what I'm essentially doing is that I'm putting in the levels in the Fibonacci retracement so that whenever I want to trade, I will just need to do the Fibonacci uh, retracement. I do not need to draw a Fibonacci retracement, then draw a Fibonacci extension because that's more work. Okay, so if you can see, even if I re reverse the, um, you know, I reverse the order, regardless of whether I draw it high to low, sorry, low to high or high to low, uh, the levels are the same. Okay, so this makes my life so much easier because uh, I can just draw once and I can see the levels. Okay, and so that's why I have it set up uh, both in the positive as well as the negative. Okay, I have the 1.618, which is a positive, uh, 1.272, which is a positive, and I have the negative uh, minus 0.272 as well as minus 0.618. Okay, so this is how you set it up so that uh, you just only need this two. Okay, okay, so now let's get into the juicy part, the part that uh, you've all been waiting for. How do I find high probability setups? Okay, so how do you combine the two? It's very simple. So what you want to do um, is you want to look for a pattern something like this okay let me just uh, just a moment okay you want to look for a confluence of both uh, Fibonacci retracement and um, Fibonacci extension okay so you draw uh, your Fibonacci retracement high to low okay so you have a level somewhere here 0, 0 0.618 and 0 0.7 or 0 0.786 okay then the next thing you want to do is you want to use your Fibonacci extension tool, okay? But in this case, since uh, we have set up the Fibonacci retracement tool to have the Fibonacci extension levels as well, all I need to do is I just take this leg here, draw it to the high, and look for confluence, okay? So in this case, you can see that uh, there is a sort of confluence here, a tight confluence zone here, okay? So you just uh, draw, map it out. Okay, it's the confluence between the uh, 1.272 and 0 0.618 level. Okay, so that is how you combine the Fibonacci retracement 
and Fibonacci extension to find high probability uh, trade setups, okay? But please take note that this is just a trading zone, okay? This does not take into account the trend. It doesn't take into account uh, price action trigger, okay? If you need more information of how to do this, you need a full-blown strategy, I have a day trading type for you, so just check that out. The link is in the description. But uh, please do not take this out of context, okay? This is just to help you identify strong levels, okay? Strong levels to take your profit at, or you know, um, to look for a reaction at. Okay, it does not mean that you just put a limit order here and just enter. Okay, so this is the uh, first zone that uh, you kind of have the confluence between the Fibonacci retracement and the Fibonacci extension. And then the next thing you have is the uh, one point six one eight level, this level here, and the uh, zero point seven eight six level. Okay, so this is how you find a uh, good zones with, with a lot of confluence. Okay. Ideally, if you could find some form of market structure on the left that uh, was a previous resistance or support at this zone, then this will further enhance the uh, probability of uh, you know, this level holding. Okay, so now that you understand this concept, I want to go into the chart, uh, show you a couple of examples so that uh, really drive home the point of how to do this. Do this, then I'll end off this video. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so let me, maybe let's look at another new chart. Okay, so uh, we have a good trade setup here. Okay, this one over here. Let me show you. Okay, let's go into the H4. Okay, so let's look at this, this one over here. This entire move up here. Okay, so earlier on I drew a pattern something like that, uh, if you recall. Okay, let me just map out the whole thing. Okay, so this is the same exact pattern that I drew just now. So you can see that it actually works. Okay, this, this actually works. Okay, this is not a fluff. Okay, this really works. Okay, you can go back to the charts and you'll find a lot of examples like this. Okay, so I'll clear this lines out. And then let's start using our Fibonacci retracement tool, which uh, we have combined with the Fibonacci extension tool. Okay, so the first thing to note is that you see price uh, did have some form of a resistance here. After it broke, uh, it struggled to break above because this was a very good level. Okay, that's how you manage your trades or so. So even if you do not uh, use the Fibonacci uh, extension tool to you know, trade, uh, you can use the Fibonacci extension tool to manage your positions. Okay, so you can see over here that uh, price uh, didn't really hit here. Okay, so this in this case is not a very good example. But uh, you can, okay, so in this case, it's not a very good example because, uh, you know, the, the, the zone is kind of wide. You have the 1.618 level and a 0 0.618 level. It's, the zone is a bit wide. Okay? Personally, I don't like this because uh, it's, it's a, a bit wide. So you can see that uh, this is how we do it. Okay, it's not perfect every time. The, the levels are not very perfect every time. But uh, I just want to show you uh, how to do it. Okay, so let me show you another example. Okay, let's say we use uh, this one over here. Okay, we use this one over here. Okay, so basically we take this swing point, connect to this swing high, and uh, you can see uh, this flow again. Let me just show it to you. Okay, same pattern. Okay, same pattern again. Um, okay, you can see that it's the same pattern again, right? So you notice it's the same thing. Okay, so let me just draw in the Fibonacci and uh, show you the, the high probability zone. So in this case, uh, it worked out perfectly. Okay, you can see that uh, this is a 0 0.786 level. Okay, let me show it to you. This is a 0 0.786 level and this is the 1.272 level. Okay, so uh, if you take away the Fibonacci so that it's clearer. Okay, you can see that uh, price really tapped just this level. Okay, so this is a very high probability level. Okay, and that's how uh, you do it. Okay, in this case, you worked out perfectly. Okay, so this is what you want to be doing. Uh, let's say you manage to enter here and uh, you would have, you know, take profit almost at the top. You see, so this is the power of using Fibonacci extensions. You can see that our uh, price uh, almost tapped this level. Okay, and uh, at near this level, I uh, just started dropping back down. 
Okay, so the other tip that I have for you when you're using Fibonacci extension is that uh, you always want to take profit uh, slightly before the level. Okay, you do not want to take profit at the level. Okay, in this case, if you try to take profit at the precise level, uh, you probably would have gotten, you know, you would have to sit through this entire retracement. Okay, and you probably, you know, if you are not strong psychologically, you might have exited your position here with a smaller profit. Okay, so one quick tip I have for you is that uh, if this is the level, maybe just uh, put some buffer, just try to take profit just before the level, okay? You want to get out before uh, the level, not at the level, okay? Because uh, sometimes price uh, doesn't go exactly to the level and then you're not going to be able to lock in your profits, okay? So I've talked a lot in this video, okay? So I talk about uh, how to use Fibonacci uh, retracement, okay? Uh, I talk about how to use Fibonacci extension, Okay, I talk about how you uh, set up your Fibonacci tool in a way that uh, you can see both uh, just using the Fibonacci retracement tool. Just, uh, you know, set it up this way. Okay, if you need to pause the video, uh, you can pause the video to take down these levels and just put it in. Okay, so uh, I also showed you how you combine both to find high probability trade setups, uh, high probability uh, support zones, support and resistance zones for you to look for a trigger on. Or for you to uh, take profit at okay so that's it for this video if you have any questions just leave a comment down below i'll do my best to address it okay remember to check out our free day trading guide okay because uh, this is not a full-blown strategy okay you need a full-blown strategy if you want to trade okay this is just a tip this is just a tool on how to find good levels okay it's not a full-blown trading strategy so make sure you get that it's free just click the link in the description okay so if not thanks for your time i'll see you in the next video